Here's Johnny! Okay, I've been trying to do this video for a while, but I've been having trouble coming up with shit for these. Mm -hmm. Then I had to get few things set up. Paperwork, getting a new state ID, and a lot of other useless crap I'm not getting into. Plus, my mother was up visiting another reason I couldn't do much. Although she did help me upgrade my stuff. Like this camera, and a few other things. Thanks, Mom. Love you much. <laughs> so hopefully in next few months I can finally get to do these little better. But I've been saying that a while. Mm -hmm. I still haven't found a niche on actually what to do. If I ever figure out that animation program, I do better cartoons. Ever since I decided to do these. I tried few things. I wanted mm -hmm. to do them better. I know I'm pretty much new at this. I'll figure more on what to do other than reviewing movies and other crap. That lot I'm starting off on, I guess. Until I get a creative spurt back, or I deal with stupid shit that pisses me off. Okay, I did see X-Men First Class. Did I like it? Yeah, it was nicely done, but I did find some discrepancies looking into the other three movies and the Wolverine one. Okay, in X-Men 3, when Professor X and Magneto were meeting Jean Grey for the first time, Xavier walked and was bald, and he was the same way at the end of Wolverine, when he was rescuing the kids. Second thing, in the Wolverine movie that didn't fit with the first class, was the character Emma Frost. In Wolverine she was a kid and actually the sister of Wolverine's love interest. I know movies can't be that accurate, but certain little things like that bug the total shit out of me. I know also none of the movies wasn't true of the comic books. Anyway, when I go see another movie, I give some sort of a review on it. There's a lot coming out I wanna go out to see, whether or not I get my ass out to watch them all. That's the question. Until my next video. Hi.